Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for June 17th, 2013. This is the National Weather Service in Spokane, Washington, and we will discuss the weather for the upcoming week. We can expect another active weather week in the inland northwest. Monday and Tuesday will remain relatively warm with increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms. Big changes arrive Wednesday with the arrival of a much cooler weather and widespread rain. Cool and rainy conditions are expected to persist into Friday with the potential for a significant three-day rain total for North Idaho and Northeast Washington. Warmer and drier weather should arrive just in time for the weekend, but a return to showers and thunderstorms will be possible once again by early next week. A slow-moving upper low will influence our weather Tuesday through Friday. On Tuesday, this upper low will be just offshore, bringing an increase in showers and thunderstorms. This system will be a slow mover. By Wednesday, it will be over north central Oregon, then stall over the Idaho Panhandle Thursday and Friday. Look for an abundance of clouds in areas and areas of rain Wednesday through Friday before the low finally departs by Saturday. Here are a pair of graphs showing the seven-day forecast for the Spokane and Wenatchee areas. The red graph shows the high temperature forecast. See how the forecast highs drop Tuesday and Wednesday. High temperatures Wednesday and Thursday will be a good 10 to 15 degrees below average. The green bar graph shows the chance of precipitation each day. Precipitation chances this high are relatively rare this time of year. Wednesday and Thursday will probably be the wettest days of the week. This image shows a two-day rain total. If this forecast pans out, many places in the Idaho Panhandle and Northeast Washington will receive in excess of an inch of rain. Lesser amounts are expected in the Columbia Basin, Moses Lake, and Wenatchee areas. Forecasting rain amounts this time of year is tough. The showery nature of precipitation often leads to highly variable amounts, so our confidence in the precipitation amounts on the previous slide is low to medium. If more than an inch of rain falls over the Idaho Panhandle in northeast Washington, you can expect rises on creeks and small streams. At this time, no main rivers are expected to flood, but some small tributaries and feeder creeks could rise rapidly in the Wednesday through Friday time frame. The rains this week will certainly delay the fire weather season, especially in areas that have green grass and brush at this time. However, rains this week may not slow the fire season much over the Columbia Basin where grasses have already cured. These fine fuels can dry out again in just a couple of days once warm and dry conditions return. Despite the high potential for rain this week, we believe the flash flooding threat for the 2012 burn scar areas is relatively low. For flash flooding over burn scar areas, rainfall rates are more important than total rain amounts. For Monday and Tuesday, there is a good chance for thunderstorms, but cells should be relatively fast moving. And for Monday and Tuesday, the atmosphere is not expected to be particularly unstable. As we move into Wednesday and Thursday, the potential for thunderstorms becomes quite low as the atmosphere becomes chilly. Rain is expected Wednesday through Friday, but rainfall rates should be low to moderate with the most significant rain totals over the Idaho Panhandle and Northeast Washington. We've talked a lot about the 2012 burn scars in recent briefings, so why do we care about this area so much? First of all, flash floods near these burn scars have the potential to impact populated areas, especially around Wenatchee. The steep terrain around Wenatchee, Chelan, and Entiat is historically prone to flash flooding, even without the presence of burn scars. Check out the web address on this slide. It is a YouTube video taken in July 2010 showing water rapidly throwing, flowing through the streets. 
This flash flood occurred well before the 2012 wildfires. With the loss of vegetation due to last year's wildfires, this region is even more vulnerable to flash flooding and mudslides. Saturday and Sunday should be warmer and mainly dry. However, the 8 to 14 day outlook issued by the Climate Prediction Center suggests that above average chances for precipitation will return again next week. At or above average temperatures are expected during this time frame as well. This outlook is valid June 25th through July 1st. So in summary, this week will be wetter than average. Despite the wet weather, the flash flood threat over the burn scar areas of central Washington should be low. Rain over the Idaho Panhandle in northeast Washington has the potential to produce rises on creeks and small streams in the Wednesday through Friday time frame. The weekend should be warmer and drier. Early next week has the potential to be warm and thunderstormy. If you have any questions, please send us an email to the address on the slide. Thank you for listening to our presentation and we'll chat with you again next week.